For those of you who are taking Ready One this uh, fall 2022 semester, week 16, we want to focus our final activity on the activity that you're actually completing or the project that you're completing and listening and speaking. I'd like to take the information that you're learning from this presentation to design first an outline. Try to include up to three levels in your outline to provide enough details regarding basically what you're presenting in your listening and speaking class, specifically something related to the history of the English language. Now, if you're working in teams, perhaps a lot of the information uh, that you are sharing, that you are including in your outline, that you're going to later include in your paragraph may be similar. But this is an individual activity. Of course, you're encouraged to uh, help each other or check e each other's work. But this is an individual assignment in that each of you should design your own outline, at least three levels. And then based on that outline, create your paragraph. One paragraph that begins with the topic sentence, followed by specific details or, or sentences related to examples, facts, maybe even statistics, if you had to investigate and get information from outside sources. If you're getting information from outside sources, do your best to include a citation and APA, I'm sorry, citation and a reference according to APA. If you want me to review your work, which I'm going to ask everyone uh, to at least receive some feedback from me, probably uh, wait until you have both the outline and the paragraph so I can look at it, all of it together, including your citation. Try to include at least one citation and of course you need a reference for that citation. So when I do provide you feedback, I, I can include uh, making comments regarding APA. One of the easiest ways to find examples online if you're looking for a specific type of reference is to type the type of reference. Uh, Google it. For example, if you have an article, type the word article type the word APA or the abbreviation APA and always include seventh edition since uh, within the last year or two uh, the seventh edition came out and there have been some changes when comparing the sixth edition of the pub publication manual with the um, with the seventh edition all right so this is going to be our focus for this week guys week 16 is to create an outline and a paragraph try to include between five to eight sentences in your paragraph, try to include at least one citation according to APA along with the reference just below the uh, paragraph. The outline should include three levels. Again, try to include three levels so that you have enough detail to include in your supporting sentences. Try to include examples of or at least one example of a compound, complex, and a simple sentence. Try to use prepositional phrases subordinating clauses, relative clauses, as you're familiar with those um, clauses, if you have studied those in your grammar class. Um, and also, finally, make sure that you include or you stay in the third person in your paragraph. Okay, so no first person or second person. We'll avoid pronouns like I and you and we and us and our. We want to primarily stick in the or stay in the third person. All right, so make sure you're uh, reaching out to me. If you do have questions about this assignment for our uh, last week of class, try to request feedback no later than Thursday so that this will allow enough time for me to review your work and also get back to you and give you enough time to complete the assignment for Friday. I'll upload here momentarily to the virtual classroom the assignment, and uh, that's what we'll be focusing on for this week. If you have any questions, guys, make sure you're reaching out to me. Send me a chat in Microsoft Teams.